What's up guys, Crane here from LogicLounge.com. This week we're going to take a look at Reader for the Mac uh, to review for you guys. This week uh, I'm pretty sick, as you can probably tell by my voice, so I'm not going to be going on video, but I do want to show off this application that I use on a daily basis that I think anybody who likes to follow websites and a lot of websites would love to see uh, from this. This is called Reader. It's an RSS reader. Uh, so basically it just takes all of your RSS feeds and brings them into this application. On a side note, you do have to have Google Reader uh, to be able to access this and be able to sync accounts. Uh, Google Reader is totally free. You don't really need anything to pay for it. You just need a Google account. And by now I think everybody has a Google account. So let's dive into this a little bit more. You can see I have all my items checked right now and I have them in list format. So basically, list format, I can see just a list of all of my combined feeds. So I have a lot of Apple blogs. Uh, you can see I have OS X Daily, MacGasm, iSource, uh, 95 Mac, Mac Rumors. So I have all those in a single category. And what's really nice, I can click on a category and it'll bring up items from just that category. And then I can go ahead and click. Uh, on one of these. Let's click on this one by Tom Cook who speaks about Google uh, at the Golden Sachs conference. So you can see that I can read it all in line without going to the website. It's formatted right. Uh, I can go ahead and read through it which is very very nice to do when you just want to read uh, a couple articles. And from this screen you can do a lot of things. You can uh, go ahead and copy the link. You can send it to read it later if you want to read it or if you want to pinboard it. You can mail the link or you can even just view it in Chrome. Uh, and viewing it in Chrome you can actually just click on the title as well. You can also send it to uh, Twitter and it gives you some link information there which is very nice so if you wanted to quickly tweet out an article. You can also send it to Readify, Readability, it's called Readability my bad, uh, as well. And you can also send it to Evernote uh, if you are a big Evernote fan and you want to be able to send articles to Evernote to read later, you can go ahead and have it send it on over, which is very nice. Uh, from here, you can actually star it as well. And starring the article just means uh, that you're pinning it and saying, oh, I like this article, so I want to read it for later, uh, or something like along those lines. So you can do that. And you can also mark it as read or unread. That's what the circle is for. Uh, it's, it's a nice all-in-one design, uh, and I've had some fun with it. I usually don't read it in this mode. What I usually do is I put it into a single column mode just like this. Uh, you can see it's in a single column here and I like to just set it off into the corner of my screen and I can quickly go through and let's say oh I want to see this advertising tricks by Samsung. I can double click on it and it should open it up in line so I can see and read this article from directly within uh, and it doesn't take up a lot of dis, uh, space for your screen so if you people who don't have very large screens they can easily bring it in uh, and view it in line which is very nice uh, and again you can use it to manage subscriptions so I can show you guys my manage subscriptions here again it has to be connected to a Google reader account which is totally free uh, and it just uses to manage all of your RSS feeds uh, you can see I have Apple I have blogs I have design uh, areas I have entertainment feeds Windows feeds tech feeds gaming feeds all in different categories because it's easy for me to say okay I want to look at just the blogs and I can see just my blogs uh, and see what the latest news is uh, which is very nice to do it does have trackpad gestures so if you do have a trackpad you can use gestures and I'll go into that in just a second uh, you can also see the amount of items that is uh, available uh, for you to read so I have it looks like 808 items to read in tech uh, apparently that's way too many for me to read in one day so I can also just go down here to this check mark and say mark all is read because sometimes I just watch them flow through and look at the synopsis real quick which is nice and of course you have the refresh button down here as well as you can search uh, so if you want to find a specific article you can search within it 
and this button down here, which takes out the extra panel. So now let's go over into the preferences pane, because this is uh, something that I had to set up. So you can see that I have my Google Reader account attached. Uh, I can sign out of read, uh, Readability, which is uh, an application to help format web documents to be able to read it correctly uh, or in a, in a mobile different format. Uh, you can see how many unread items you have, either by the icon in the dock or as a badge notification, so you know the real red circle with the number, that's what that is, uh, or you just don't have to display it at all. Appearance, very simple. Uh, I ch like to choose my reader because it's a, it's a nice kind of, I don't know if you can really tell, it's a, it's a light tint, whereas standard, it turns white, uh, and that tint is actually better for the eyes. Uh, and You have sliders here where you can change all of this information. You can change textures, uh, you can change contrast, so if you want less or more contrast, uh, or even the font size. So if you are horrible at reading, you can bring it up or put it back down. And article list height, so you can get as many articles as you can in there, or get as much information as you can in there. I usually leave it about there. And if you're a monochrome person, you can choose the monochrome icons and it'll lose it. Here's all the syncing. So right now I have, it, it syncs every five minutes so I can get all my articles flowing in. You can also sync it on start, sync unread items, sync starred, and keep red items for however long you want to keep them. You have a chance to use a whole lot of services. So if you wanted to use Delicious or Pinboard or Google Mobilizer or Twitter, you have an easy way to enable it and show in the toolbar, which I showed you guys where that Twitter icon was. As for readings, you can mark all as read without confirmation, like I just did. You can choose a default font. Uh, so if you want like a font to read, uh, you can read it fluidly through all the applications. You can choose to open web links in the background, which is very nice. So if you're reading and you just want to click reference links, you can click that. It'll open in the background and you can continue reading. Again, here is how you set up other settings. You can use gestures like I showed you. If I swipe to the left, I can toggle the in-app browser uh, and all of that fun features that you can do with gestures with a trackpad. Not even the MacBook, but if you have a magic trackpad as well, it works with that as well. And you can set up shortcuts. This is the last one here. Shortcuts to sync, to previous subscriptions, to move on. You can even edit them, restore defaults. So it's a very uh, feature-packed application that I love to use on a daily basis, and you probably should too. It's a little bit pricey. It's about $9.99 in the Mac App Store, but it's totally worth it for how many RSS feeds that I read per day and get all of my information from. So go check it out on the Mac App Store. It's Reader, R E E. D E R. If you have any questions for me or if you want to suggest a Mac app for me to review, go ahead and email me, Creighton at logiclounge.com. Uh, feel free to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus, all under the username of Logic Lounge. And until next week, we'll see you guys later.